Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so I have a really cool bath bomb demo to do for you today. This one is called Witchy Woman, and it is from Rock and Oil Bath and Body, Rock and Oil Naturals, and of course it's a cauldron bomb. But what I think is cool and different about this one is that the cauldron is actually a bath bomb itself. The green oozing out of the top is actually soap. And of course, it's got a couple cool embellishment, the witch's finger and the spider I thought were really cute too. I actually broke off a couple of the oozing green pieces of soap when I opened it out of the package because it was wrapped up really nice and good, but um, it's still really cool looking. Um, the scent is creamy spiced oatmeal stout with tart lemon, which I think is really, it's really cool and different. It's a very much a fall scent. And um, I don't know, it's just, it's a little bit earthy to me, but um, it's a little bit of a departure for me, what I would normally choose. But I unwrapped it yesterday and I left it in my closet on my shelf and I just, I've kept going back and sniffing it and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So I wanted to do it, of course it's nighttime for me now, but I wanted to do it at night and wait till it got a little cooler outside because I don't know, it's just, it's a little bit grassy for some reason. It reminds me just of outdoors, but I just, I really like it. It's a really nice scent. So I definitely, um, definitely think I'm gonna enjoy it. So I can't wait to get it in the water and see what it's gonna look like. Cause I think that it's got a hidden color inside as well. So anyway, let's check it out and see what it looks like. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. Here comes the purple. Yep, I knew that it had purple in there. It says that on the description on the website that the water is supposed to turn a silvery lavender, I think is what it says in the description. That's so cool. Wow, that's pretty. It's really pretty. Love a little witch's finger. And of course, this bath bomb was named after the Eagle song. I'm not sure if all of hers are named after songs, but all the ones that I have are, and I think that's so cool. So pretty. Oh, I love it. So these are now available on her site. And the bubble bar that I have not done yet is also available on her site. She's got some other, um, I think, I'm not sure that all of her Halloween items are available, but she does have some more than the two that I have. She has, um, she has a, several, several really cool Halloween bombs. She's got some, some, um, bones, them bones, Alice in Chains. She's got, she's got some, um, bones. They're white and they bleed out. So those are pretty cool too. Little guy. 
Now, does that have green in it, or is that just me because I stuck my green fingernail in it, and now I... That's my imagination. That's really weird. See, no, nothing came off my fingernail. I think that's just a strange coincidence. <laughs> that's really funny. I absolutely adore these colors. And this water, it is, it is really silvery. It's gray and silvery. It's not black, it's just a really, really pretty color. Okay, let's see if I can get down there and show you guys this water color a little bit. Oh, let's see the finger. <laughs> the witch's finger. Let's check that out. And the spider. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the soap, they're all, they all stayed together. That's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Yep, I liked this. All right, so let's check out this silvery gray water. Okay, this is just really nice. I really, really like this. It's not trying to be black, so it's it's not made promises it can't keep. It's absolutely silvery gray. It's beautiful. I love it. It's it's just really cool, and obviously I'm enjoying it. So um, in the scent, it's it's different. It's unique. I'm I'm really enjoying that too. So let's check out the bubbles. Now her last one that I had made lots and lots of bubbles, so let's see what witchy woman can do. You know what, my tub is actually leaking water, the drain, the faucet's giving me problems, and the drain, so I apologize, it does look a little bit low right now. Lots of bubbles, yet again. They look like they might not keep building though, that they might stay about at that level, so I might be able to run them the whole time, but we'll see. No, they look like they're growing a little bit more now. I don't know. It's so hard to tell. Definitely lots of bubbles, though. Okay, so I will let you guys know how it was when I get out. See you in a minute. All right, guys. So I am done with my witchy woman bath. And there is some residue in the bottom, but I want to show you this. Plug your ears. Just rinsing right now. All right, so that is that. Now, the moisture level was really nice, just like the other one that I took. And the watercolor, of course, I told you that it was really nice, but when you get in, you see that there's just that really, really super fine luster that's really pretty, and that's where the description said it was silvery gray. That's where that comes from, and there's nothing on my skin because it was just too small. So that was really pretty. And the scent was, just like I described, there was a little more lemon in it when you got a little closer, but it's a really light scent. Like overall, it's not a super, super strong scent in general, but it was a really nice scent. And the bubbles, they didn't really grow any more than what you saw. Like what I, it was what I expected. Like when I got in, they didn't grow any more than I thought they would. So I was able to leave the jets on. 
But anyway, this was a really cool bath bomb. I really enjoyed it. I love the little embellishments. And you definitely have to go check out her Instagram page and her website. So I will have all of that linked down below. She's got a lot of cool Halloween items and obviously she's got the really cool chakra bombs too. So um, I think that's it for today, but I will have another one of her demos very soon. So I think that's it, you guys, and I will see you back here next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.